Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So, okay, I figured for today's video I would talk about a genre I haven't spoken about in a good while, and that's Kung Fu. It's the film titled Bruce Lee the Superhero. Oh, it's just superhero in other titles, of course. Yes, these movies tend to have more than one title for whatever reason, but okay. I mix things that are confusing, but whatever. Anyway, yes, of course, it's a blast from the past. It's low budget. It's pretty obscured. But, hey, good enough reason for me to talk about it. So, here we are, I reckon. I like low budget stuff anyway, so here we are, I suppose. Oh, definitely. So, might as well just do one, one, another one of these. Because, for one, I do like the genre. And, two, I haven't spoken about one of these in a good while, as mentioned a moment ago. This film is, of course, available on DVD for anyone that wants to get a copy, but the version I'm talking about was on Toby. I don't know how long it'll be there, but that's the version I saw. Well, either way, I'm talking about the English dubbed version of this film, and the dubbing is, meh, it's okay, I guess, it's passable. The dubbing still needs some work. I don't know why it comes to these dubbing of these movies. They tend to like half ass it in a lot of ways, but whatever, guess. Anyway, nevertheless, of course, I have to talk about the plot. The main character, Bruce Lee, <coughs> Bruce Lee, he pretty much returns to this place to investigate the murder of his sister. So, let's just say that things do get pretty crazy as they should. On the night of her attack, she was helped. By this amateur boxer. Yeah, there was this character named Rocky. Yeah, really. So, okay. Behind the death is the Black Dragon Society. So, there's like a mafia type of, I guess, group of characters. At least, that's how they came off to me anyway. And they found Bruce Lee a bit of a nuisance because he's beaten by all these men. He's really skilled in, in martial arts. Yes, of course, the view is a threat because of that. So this man, Bruce Lee, races against this crime family. And the, there's this organization kind of a thing going on here that killed his sister. And of course, it's an attempt to discover the whereabouts of this hidden gold that was stolen during World War II. So yes, if this sounds pretty wild, that's because it is. It gets pretty damn crazy, as it should. I guess that's a way to put some drama in this movie, which I guess technically is a drama type of a movie. But that's pretty much what they want to aim for in the grand scheme of things. I mean, it gets really dramatic, of course. It's a colorful drama. Yeah, I guess kind of mixing the two genres, a kung fu drama, might as well. And, um, but anyway, so I guess you can say that this was definitely a film I, I just want to just talk about pretty immediately. I just got to watching this, so here we are, I reckon. But yes, it's, it's a pretty crazy movie, as it should, because Bruce Lee... Bruce Lee, he wants to just take care of business and bring justice. I mean, of course, they want to, I'm going to say they, I mean the people who made this movie, wants to have his likeness, the actual Bruce Lee, and his name. And even though what's going on in the movie, it's just, it's, it's just completely fictionalized. Not None of this happened in his actual life, obviously. So, there's that, I reckon. I'm just throwing it out there as it was... A, all these enough, of course. Oh, definitely. But yes, that's that's a thing here. Oh, definitely. Oh, of course, I have to mention the fighting. The fightings are important, of course, where these characters just beat the ever living shit out of each other. So that is definitely a recommendation. It's a requirement for kung fu fighting. Yes, have more fighting. Is it right? But anyway. That much is obvious. I just thought I'd mention this as I often do when it comes to these films, of course. 
Yes, the fight. I thought it was well choreographed. The fight scenes take place in various locations as as they should, of course. I did like what they were trying to aim for. Trying to make it seem exciting. And I did like how they were executed in this one, folks. Oh, definitely. And yes, of course, our main character wants to do the right thing. That's a lot easier said than done, quite clearly. But yes, we see him in various fighting scenes, I guess. And I like I like the, what what we're aiming for in this because the editing here doesn't seem too bad when it comes to the fighting. They don't cut like every two seconds, like a lot of fighting done in no more modern action type movies, which, as I mentioned before, can get pretty damn annoying. Oh, definitely, it really can. But thankfully, the the way that fighting here is presented, it's actually done more done correctly, like it should be. But there you go, I reckon. Oh yeah. No, oh, definitely. There's a tr truck ton of fighting throughout this movie. That's for sure. But obviously, this has nothing to do with comic book superhero superhero stuff like at all. Nor it has nothing to do with the Rocket movies in any shape or form. Quite clearly, but yeah, some people would think that when they uh, hear about this movie, I guess. But there were a ton of Bruce Lee comics that were made over the years, so the more you know, I reckon. All right, then I'll give this film, this version anyway, an overall rating of a seven point four out of ten. It gets a seven point four out of ten for me, of course. So as always. Thanks for watching and take care. Next time, see you. Oh, yeah. Later. Mm hmm.